Hello, my wonderful busy homemakers. How are you? I uh, do you get anxiety when you know you have to go grocery shopping? Mm. With what's going on lately? I do. I, you're not the only one. We all do. And today I wanted to talk to you because I've talked to the managers at the grocery stores, the ones that I frequent, that I know very well, and that helped me find the, when I'm looking for new something new for a recipe, that helped me find it. You know, good friends with them. And now, let's let's start, let's get into it because we went through COVID in 2020. Now it's all about grocery shopping, the supply chain, the shortages, which some shortages you may not even noticed yet in your store because you normally don't buy that stuff. Let's talk about the prices going up because this is what's currently going on. Now, from what the managers are telling me in the store, they are just as frustrated as you and I. They're ordering stuff. They're trying to order stuff. They're trying to get the quantities you need. It's not happening. They have to order other stuff, other brands, or bring in a limited amount of this brand, limited amount of that brand. They're doing the best they can. They're trying to keep their cool with people asking them, why can't I get this? Why can't I get that? Why is when's it going to come in? When's it going to come in? And that's everybody's thought. It's my thought. It's your thought. When are they going to get my favorite brand in the store? Now, a lot of it is from the Omicron crap going on. A lot of it, as you know, last week, 20 states in the U.S. were under a snowstorm. And we got dumped on. I know out here by us, we've got 12 inches we had. We still do. It's finally starting to melt today. Now, along with the supply chain, now before those 20 states, before the snowstorm hit, there was what you call panic buying. People buying up milk, people buying up bread, people buying up eggs, butter, because of the snowstorm. We all did it too. We know store stores coming. We go to the store. I need bread. I need milk. I need this. I need that. I'll get an extra one of this just in case. I'll make this for two days because we'll be busy shoveling snow. I made chili for two days because I knew I'd be bailing out. Now, also because of the snowstorm, the truck drivers were not able to get the shipments into the store. Now, I went to Aldi. And that's what the Aldi manager told me. He said, we can't get a shipment right now. It's all because of the snowstorms. Everything had stopped because the truck drivers can't get the trucks out. The roads aren't being cleared fast enough because when it came down, it came down for like 36 hours straight, pretty much with maybe a uh, half an hour, an hour in between. The plows couldn't keep up. The stores are hoping to get the supplies in this week thank god now so we know all that's going on in the grocery store now the prices are going up now just in aldi alone i've noticed hot dogs went up 20 cents english muffins went up 15 cents canned mushrooms went up 20 cents uh your your frozen breakfast bowls went up at least in my old days they did and I noticed in Walmart too, Walmart prices are going up too. What and what they're saying is on the shelf is not the shelf price. They're it's when you get to the register, it's coming up the new price. Just saying. Now, with all this, we know there are shortages. We've heard of the cream cheese shortage, the meat shortage, cat and dog food shortage. Now I've noticed that at my store. Luckily, the brand I use, 
I've been lucky enough to find it. So thank goodness for that. Um, and I did have to, when there was, when they had it in the store, I did have to buy two more than what I normally buy because you don't know. Now, there's even a champagne shortage. Ladies, how about that? Champagne. I don't buy that that often. I normally, normally only buy that on New Year's Eve. So right now that's not affecting me. Now, with all this going on, right now there's a fertilizer shortage for the farmers, the nitrogen. So they're using that sparingly. Now, I'm not telling you all this to depress you. I'm telling you this so that you realize you are not the only one going through this. We are in this and experience this together. This is kind of like the COVID crap. It came, we didn't know how to handle it. We just had to deal with it as it came up. We didn't have a choice. And we just figured on along the way. Now, amongst all this stuff going on at the grocery store, why don't we take our mind off of that for a second? And the best thing we could do right now is to get back in our kitchens with everything that's going on in the grocery store. You're like, get back in my kitchen? Why? I want you to get back in your kitchen because this is the time now that's really important that you start decluttering and organizing, categorizing your food items. Why? Why do you want to do that right now with all this grocery store crap going on? Because this is going to save you money at the grocery store. When you know you only have four cans of beans and you're going to use those three, three cans, of, the three of those cans today for your, make your chili, you know, you got to replace it. So then you're putting three on the list. Now, what happens when you're looking for your olives? You're making a salad, you want your olives? Get it categorized, get it in the pantry, get it on the kitchen shelf. I don't care if you have to put little labels on the shelf, get it on the shelf so that you can get, so you, that you know next time you go to the store, you're not buying two things of olives because you can't find your olives and then you come home and you've got extra olives. This is the time now, ladies and busy homemakers. This is the time we want to save our money at the grocery store. We want to save our money. We don't want to think about what's going on at the grocery store. We know it's there. We have to do our best in our kitchens to attack the problem. Now, once you get your food and organize food items and all that organized, you are going to be so happy, so thankful, and feel so accomplished that you did this because you're not over buying at the grocery store. You're going to be showing that pantry off to everybody, everybody in the world because you did it. You're proud of yourself and it's done. Now, ladies, don't forget, ask me about my pantry course. And I'm going to quickly, I'm going to quickly pop off here before the internet goes out again. And happy organizing. Let's get back in the kitchen and take our mind off the grocery store so we can save money and keep it in our pockets. Bye, ladies. Thank you so much. Let me know. Hashtag replay. I want to know what's going on at your store and in your kitchen.